Welcome back. Joining me now in the Daytime Buffalo studio is Amy Paoletti of Amy's Fine Jewelry. Amy, thanks so much for coming Hi, in. Amy, thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited. And you brought a friend. <laughs> this is Trooper. He's Amy's Fine Jewelry mascot. Absolutely. He's a seven-year-old Great Dane. And um, he's gorgeous. And also, he's a therapy dog, too, yes. right? Yes. Through the Western New York serving Erie County, Trooper is a therapy dog. So he goes to schools and libraries, and the kids read books to him. That's we go to Brylin. I love that. Now let's get back to you and your jewelry. Tell me a little bit about how you got started. So it's been 20 years since I opened and I wanted to have rare gemstones, nice quality pieces, so I handpick everything. I like having different settings so when you're wearing something, it's not something you're gonna see on everybody else. Yeah. And we custom design pieces so it's the perfect piece for that person that tells their story. So we see at Amy's Fine Jewelry, we're gonna help you find a piece that's gonna tell your story. Oh, that's beautiful. Who doesn't love jewelry, especially when it's really customized to you, exactly, exactly. what you want, right? Yes. Now, you just celebrated a big anniversary, yes. right? 20 years. 20 years. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us about how your celebrations went and what you guys did. We had a big anniversary celebration. I wanted to have something to, very nice to thank my customers and my friends and family for being there for me for the last 20 years. And we had a, champagne and food and balloons and a big celebration on Saturday. It was really fun um, and a lot of people showed up and we just celebrated and That's found amazing. new jewelry. Yay! <laughs> so clearly you've been around for 20 years. You've obviously had a lot of love from the community and been very welcomed, right? Yes, I was in the Eastern Hills Mall for 20 years and I opened on Main Street in Williamsville. It'll be four years. So it's almost like starting over again. But I want people to come into my store to feel the experience of nice quality jewelry and gemstones and one-of-a-kind pieces and stuff that I personally pick out and I personally love working with all of my customers. What makes your jewelry and your store so unique? I pick everything out. So everything is one-of-a-kind and I like carrying a lot of the rare gemstones. So not only do I have engagement rings and diamonds and wedding bands, but I also carry the birthstones. So you have, you know, your rubies, your emeralds, your garnets, and also a lot of different rare gemstones. So even though sapphires may not be rare, I carry all different colored sapphires and different colored tourmalines and different colored garnets. So when you come in to Amy's Fine Jewelry, you're gonna see probably over 50 different gemstones, stuff that jewelers have never even heard of. Oh, wow. I like carrying different. Yeah, okay. What's the process like if someone wants to come in and say for myself, I love pretty things, but mm -hmm. I don't really know a lot about jewelry. Do you kind of walk your customers through the process yes. of explaining the different metals and silvers mm -hmm. and golds and, and each different gem, how hard they are, how yes. long they're gonna last, yes. all of that fun stuff? So when customers come in, I always ask a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Who are you shopping for? If it's for themselves or for somebody else, what the age is, do they like bigger pieces? Do they like smaller pieces? <laughs> Trooper's hiding from us. He's not about us anymore. Trooper? <laughs> He's just exploring. There um, he goes. We do, oh, so I will talk to the person and say, do you like smaller pieces? Do you like larger pieces? Do you like different colors? Um, because we can do everything. We can keep it simple. We can make it fancy. I have a lot of loose gemstones, so customers will come in and pick their gemstone, we'll create their setting, they can bring in pictures, we can come up with different ideas around different things so that they can have something that they love and they can wear forever. And the nice thing about jewelry is you can pass it down. Yes, it's like it's so, so you gorgeous. can have it it's forever. Something that you can have and your family will, it's like a legacy. Yes, that you definitely. Have. Now, I wanna know where did your love from, for jewelry come from? How did you get started and fall into? Um, I worked at a jewelry store in the 90s, one of the chain stores, and I just loved the different colors of the gems, but the settings were all the same. Everything looked the same. So I started buying loose gemstones and I found a jeweler who could make different settings for me. So I said, why limit it to just myself when I can help everyone else? Oh, I see. So you kind of realized there was something missing. And yes. And you, you figured out how to fix that problem. Yes. You said, I don't want to be like everyone else. Right. So it's not competition because I do my own thing mm -hmm. and when you come into Amy's when you see the store it's a complete experience which is gorgeous by the way that's what we're seeing right now your storefront is thank you I love it and cozy and just elegant it was my dream to have my own store and on Main Street in Williamsville is the perfect spot and I can see outside every day 
And when you come into the store, like you said, it's nice and cozy. You can sit on the couch. We have coffee and wine and people like to relax and they pet trooper <laughs> and there's so much to see in the store i carry estate jewelry and custom jewelry and um silver white gold yellow gold rose gold all the different uh gemstones like the earth stones turquoise and onyx and so we have price ranges for everybody nice yeah now do you have anything new or exciting coming up that you'd like to talk about um, I love planning vendor events. Oh, okay, that's so, fun. So, yes, I have a really big store, so I like inviting people in to have um, different events or to have a couple different vendors in, and it brings the whole community together. Yeah. It brings uh, people into my store. It brings people to know the different um, vendors and pop-up people that um, go to the different um, pop-up okay. events versus having like a brick and mortar store. Right, yeah, that's so, a really cool thing. And so you're also, by doing that simultaneously, helping out other small business yes. owners too. Yes, I belong to a lot of women networking groups and we all help each other and try to figure out ways of getting people into businesses and letting people know that we own our own business and we're women in business and we like to support each other. Absolutely. And who doesn't want to come into your store and just pet trooper? I, if, <laughs> if you don't even want jewelry, just go into pet trooper, right? He's very relaxing. He is very relaxing. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing your beautiful jewelry. I might have to stop by. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Listen, you can find more on Amy's creations by heading over to her website at amysfinejewelry.com